you'd been in the business a while, and you're at a level where I would think you've met pretty much everybody who, present company aside, blew you away the most? Who are you most excited to meet? Oh, gosh. Well, I have to say of all the people, um, you know, I've worked with incredible people like Will that I knew as a friend beforehand, but right. Jack Nicholson has to be the most satisfying celebrity interaction for me. Because number one, growing up, yep. all of those legendary movies, you know, like Nicholson has had an amazing run. Is it true that Jack Nicholson invited you to a concert, a U2 concert? Yes. So <laughs> we were in Detroit and it was getting towards the end of the shooting. And I had this great scene in the movie where I betray his character on the stand. Yep. Um, <laughs> on a side note, when I betray his character on the stand, my mom was watching the movie in a movie theater. And, she, and when, I, when I turn on him in court, she goes, not my John. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I was like, Mom, what did you say there? And the, she's like, I, I said, not you. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, you wouldn't be a stool pigeon. I was like, Mom. It's a part. I, it's no, a role. I was telling the truth. The character was telling the truth. These guys were criminals. Like, I was telling, like, yeah. she's like, no, but you wouldn't be a stool pigeon. Tell me you wouldn't be a stool pigeon. I was like, wow, OK. I was hoping for a more ethical take from my mom. But anyway, um, God rest her soul. Sorry, Mom. Uh, but yeah, so we were shooting that scene, and, and I was feeling really good, because it was a great little dramatic turn. I didn't have a ton to do in that movie, but it was a great little dramatic turn. And I was feeling really proud of myself. And Danny DeVito, who directed it, was really happy. And Jack was saying stuff like, hey, he's like, he's like a young Gene Hackman. And I was like, holy shit. Like, he just called me a young Gene Hackman. Like, um, so I was just feeling really good about myself. And I remember just like, top of the world. I'm walking down the hallway in this location where we were shooting. And I go into the bathroom. And I sidle up to the urinal. I'm just thinking about like, things. And, and all of a sudden, before I can even start peeing, <clears throat> Jack comes in. To the bathroom and I was like oh shit it's it's the man and he, not only does he come into the bathroom he stands next to me oh boy. at the urinal next to me now in any situation in that kind of you know two men alone in the restroom side by side at the urinal I'm gonna get a shy bladder you know yeah that's just I you know I wish I was one of those guys who could just hit the fire hose no matter who's standing around <laughs> But I'm not, you know, I just kind of get like, uh, I psych myself out and I try to think about the sound of running water or what, I don't know what I do, but the Jack walks up and he, he's the fire hose guy. Boom, I can hear right away. Jack's peeing, no problem, like, <laughs> son of a bitch. And I'm looking down and my penis has become like a belly button. You know, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's receded deep into my body. Uh, and I'm just trying to concentrate like, come on, don't blow it. Just Relax, <laughs> he's gonna hear, or maybe I'll just wait it out. And like, and then he's peeing, he's like, he goes, you like you too? And I go, yeah, yeah I do, Jack. Literally both of us with our yeah. hands on our penises, my micro penis and his normal penis. And, uh, and I go, yeah I do, and he's like, you wanna go see him? I go, yeah, that would be awesome. And he goes like, you're in, they're pals of mine. And he zips up his shorts, he washes his hands, he's like, talk to Chet, he'll tell you what time we're leaving. And the concert was that night. And I was like, wow. oh, okay, thank you, Jack. And then ah, after he left, I was able to relax and pee. <laughs> and then it was the sweetest thing. Like, you know, he, I met downstairs in the lobby and I thought like, I'm gonna go in the limousine with Jack to go see right. you too. Like, how can this be happening to me? We drive to the venue, we pull into the back of the loading zone. It's like the most preposterous way to enter a concert I think I've ever you know, experienced. Yep, like, yep. oh yeah, of course, just pull into the loading dock backstage. Like, that's how you go see U2. And we're standing there backstage, and then at that point, Jack tells his assistant and these other people, beat it, you know, go to your seats. And like, John, John C., stay with me. And beat like, it, yeah. scram. <laughs> it's me and John C. He talks like Mo from the I Three Stooges. I do a terrible Nicholson impression. Yeah. I'm sorry, but. That's okay. Uh, um, and, uh, and so I'm standing there, and then all of a sudden, you see one, two, three, four, the four of them go up the stairs to start the show, and the crowd just goes, Rah! Must have been 60,000 people in this indoor arena. And 
And as this roar comes up and the lights start to come up on the stage, Jack turns to me and goes, let's go. And he just starts walking out into the crowd. We don't have security, no one with us. And it was like, Conan, it was like following MacArthur onto the beach of Iwo Jima. You know, like, <laughs> it was like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. And we head out up this aisle and I realized the reason he's waited to this moment is because the whole crowd is looking at you too. They're not looking at Jack Nicholson walking up the center aisle of the stadium. So we walk all the way back. I follow him, and he goes immediately to the sound booth. And we stand at the sound booth, and I'll never forget the way he danced. It was the best. Like, it was that, it was that concert. I think it was Zoo TV. Uh-huh. Like, when she moves in mysterious ways. And can I stand yeah, up? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how Nicholson is dancing. She moves in mysterious <laughs> ways. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. All right. I call it like shooby doo dancing. Shooby dooby doo. Shooby dooby doo. <laughs>